Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up Walt's Shrimp. Here's a pattern that uh, my mentor came up with a number of years ago and we always had a lot of these on our guide boats and uh, did very well with them on our on our lakes. Cut a lot of nice big thick rainbows with it and it's a really nice easy fly to tie too. So we'll get right to it. I'll show you the fly right here. Very, very simple to tie. Almost see if I can wrap this one up in a hurry. And uh, we'll go over the materials with you, but a nice little shell back on it. Nice colorations. Now you can change these colors like I mentioned before, but here what I'm using is a UV Calibatus. It's a very nice, and I like that UV hue in there at all. We're using size 10 curved nymph hook to tie with um, the tail material. I'm just going to use some light olive hackle for the tail and then for our shell back we can use light uh, olive there's also you can use dark olive and uh, you know there's all kinds of colors in this and of course here's tan or an orange uh, I should say in the 1 8 orange you can put a tan underbody on that one that looks really good with a copper wire so these shrimp are quite different colors in a lot of lakes, so it's good to have some color variations with you, too. Uh, you can get samples of these shrimp along the weed beds and so forth. So let's get a hook in the vise and uh, show you how simple this one is to tie. And these ice stub materials come out, we were very excited about it. I know Walt, he sure loved using it a lot. and. Uh, he was a, one of the best fly tires I've ever known, and I was so lucky that we got to tie together. He helped me with a lot of tying uh, when I was learning and tied was tying schools. We used to do schools all winter at uh, one of the locations of Medicine Hat, and it was a lot of fun. And uh, I got to fish with the Walt Lots too. So if you ever get an opportunity to cash in on someone else's experience you know there's lots of guys like that around and the area is some old fellas that have been around a long time and be more than happy to help you they like sharing their their stuff with you too and uh, very very willing that's what makes fly fishing and tying so such an intriguing sport for so many of us so I just tied the tail in and I just tied over the butts because we want a little bit uh, thicker. We're going to taper this body somewhat. I'm going to take some of my light olive over the back. He actually tied some of these with actually a clear back and then a green wire. I'm taking a, a light uh, olive over the top and I'm going to tie in, I forgot to mention to you, I'm going to tie in my uh, extra small wire for the ribbing. Okay, got to chat in here, missed some of my materials. Extra small Silver, you got. I've got that in all. They have wire in every color imaginable nowadays. We we have so much available to us. In one of my lakes uh, that I fish, right in my home water, right behind my house here, is uh, Whitetail Lake, and one of the better lakes in British Columbia. And and I've noticed shrimp in there that are basically white. So this UV ice calibatus has just got a little gray tinge to it. We're going to do the entire body up with that. And we're going to, this wraps down really easy. It's super easy to use. And it's got a buggy appearance to it. I'm going to go a little thicker at the back. And then we're just going to taper it down to the front. Okay. Now I'm going to pull it off wherever I'm done here. Put way too much on. But anyway, we can get rid of that real quick. Just Tie that extra off, put that all on there, and uh, pretty simple. So, you know, it's a hook is kind of wanting to fall off. I'm going to tip it up now at this point because I want my uh, thread to hang down straight so I don't lose it. You can uh, tease that out a little bit at this point, too. I always like to do that well before I get my shell back on there, it just allows me to get some fibers loose. And then we're going to pick it out outward onto the. That's where you want to take your time on this fly, so picking it out. It is kind of a soft. We don't pull that latex too hard. Once it comes off the side, we want it laying on the top. 
And I like that thicker at the back. The taper in this fly is important. And then you just get some nice equal turns of your rib. And that's basically give the segmentation of your shell back is what it's doing. That's why I use silver a lot. I don't want to take too much away from the pattern. Simple is good here on these shrimp. And just uh, finish that off at the front here. I, I pull my material back over itself as you notice and then I whip finish it before I cut it off. That way if that way if some would slip out I'd still have my thread on there. I still got all my materials and I don't have to retie the whole hook again. So we can go in there with a dubbing like with a needle or you have a little wire brush or a picker you can get all kinds of these and uh, just take your time getting this body picked out and this ice stub actually it was a good good find that Walt said let me try that he wanted to try that on shrimp patterns and man that uh, it does about as good a job as anything out there I think and, and it's also UV you know you get that UV light on there as you can see and it changes changes that in the water and that's what the fish are seeing and uh, what a what an easy fly to tie and uh, we've had a lot of success with this unweighted fly of course we're using intermediate lines maybe a clear sink tip line or a slow sink tip is good or even a floating line and let it just um, sit under a cork a small corky by a weed bed has produced a lot of good fish for us too and fish get foraging real tight in the weeds they'll come out and eat this they'll see this and, and uh, they'll go nuts for it and uh, the shrimp is a, one of the most uh, stable food sources for a lot of lakes and uh, make sure you have good shrimp patterns with you or else you might be kind of disappointed on the way home it could be a tough tough day but all the best to you and hope to see you in the water to watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.